Let's do some testing. How about some slugs, some armor? Oh, all right guys, Cutter Boy 32 here, check it out. So we're gonna be doing some testing today. This is a uh, Winchester, this is a 12 gauge, three inch, 1400 feet per second Sabo round. Ah, they call it setups for deer. I'll say it's for home protection, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put some premier body armor in front of these one of these water bottles here and see how it does against a one inch, one ounce slug made in the USA. Winchester, stand by. That's two water bottles now. All right, so here we are, man. We're back out here at the range and uh, I got my old friend Agua here. And uh, one of the things we did last week is we took this premier body armor soft body panel. This is level 3A. And we shot the snake out of it, uh, snot out of it, uh, with a, a bunch of different ammo. Now, one of the things we did find is that uh, the Fort Scott munitions went through this thing. Now, I've conferred with Fort Scott and pretty much a lot of different other folks, and they said, that stuff will go through anything. So that wasn't really a bad call for Premier Body Armor, considering, look at how thin this thing is. But I will tell you this, it stopped 44 Magnum, 45 uh, 40 nine millimeter hydro shocks, uh, 38 special, <laughs> still sitting there. But one of the things we didn't try out was this Winchester, uh, three inch, 1400 feet per second, one ounce slugs, Sabo round. This is a deer, uh, slug and, uh, ran into Frank, the owner over there. And he was telling me, man, they tested that thing with uh, 50 BMG, uh, not BMG, but 50 AE. <laughs> and uh, at point blank range, and it did it. And this is supposed to hold up to a one inch slug. Now, one of the other things that we found out in the video last week is that uh, you wear this without something behind it and you're gonna feel the pain. So as you saw, what we had right there was a five gallon water bottle. Well, we shot two of them and uh, man, the thing went straight up in the air. So went ahead and shot another one and uh, same thing happened. But what we're gonna do now is I'm going to tape this to the front of this water bottle so that we can see maybe if there's a difference. So let's do that. Here we go. All right, so here we go, man. We got this thing taped up. Now, what are we gonna shoot it with? We're gonna shoot it with Long Dong Daddy. This was one of my very first uh, shotguns for three gun. Guys, if you're looking to get into three gun, a Stoger uh, 3000 or 3000 K2, whatever, three gun. These things are probably the best bang for the buck. 24 inch barrel. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell you how much I love this thing. It's done me proud. Uh, long dong daddy because we do have a long tube on there. So anyway, what are we gonna learn from this? I'm hoping to show you. One is that this thing will hold up to a one inch slug at about 10 yards. That's pretty aggressive, I will admit. But what we're also gonna show you is based on the penetration we got into the water on those two jugs earlier, what's gonna happen here? You're gonna see this thing explode from the inside, which means that if you're wearing this guy right here and somebody hits you with a one inch slug, you're not gonna die. It's gonna hurt, but you're not gonna die. Let's go ahead and hit it up. Here we go, stand by. All right, so before we shoot this guy, I wanna show you something. These are two different types of slugs. The one right here, this is a slug that we use in competition. This is a seven, eight inch uh, low recoil. And these guys are made by Fiocchi. This is the Winchester Super X. This is the Sabo round, look at that thing. Anyway, there's a huge difference between these two and I can feel it in my shoulder. But let's go ahead and shoot this thing and see what that body armor does. Here we go. All right, so here's a couple of things. This is like getting hit with a small cannon. Interesting part is there is some perforation in the back, but I don't think, based on 
what's in there. We're gonna open it up here in a second. That slug is still in there, so we didn't get any penetration. Let's open it up and find out. Here we go. And I mean a small cannon. That's a damn small cannon. Get off me, bug. All right, the worst thing that could ever happen. I forget to turn the slow-mo camera on during the finale. All right, so I wanna show you the bucket. Here's the impact. Look at that. That's incredible. Most importantly, look at the rear. Completely intact. Now, granted, it's two separate buckets, but there's, there's no exit wound. So we got that going for us. All right, so here we go, man. We've got this guy sitting here and uh, there's a big old round spot in there. So let's do this little dissecting, shall we? I don't know what this is made of. I think it's Cadora, but I know the interior. Oh my God. All right, I'll tell you this. This is a, I'll just sharpen this thing. This, is, this thing is razor sharp. I wouldn't want to get my finger near it by any means. I'm really upset about the rear camera because that, that was an amazing explosion. And here's the Kevlar section. You can see that right there. So the nice thing about Kevlar, if we can get it to cut. There we go. Man, that thing did not go through a whole lot of layers. Look at that. I think I'm probably uh, ruining the warranty on my, uh, maybe it might be easier to go through the other side. How about that? Let's do that. Ah, what is that? Well, that's that, that's that 38 that uh, went through last week. So that's interesting. We uh, hit, oh, there it is. Ooh, nice. There we go. There it is. Big old, big old thing. Hold on one second. You can look at the impact. Wow. We're going to have to resharpen the knife after we get done with this. You can see there's part of the plug. I'm... Wow. Well, I don't know. It might have been easier to go in the backside. Look at this. There we go. There it is. Sabo slug. That's bad to the bone. Let's see what kind of other. Yep, there's some. Well, I don't know if that's from a, another boat now. That's the same thing. And that's pretty much it. Wow. Guys, that is a one inch, 1400 feet per second Sabo slug. That's pretty cool. Pretty devastating to the body though on the uh, impact, but it's not gonna penetrate into your system. That's it, man, premier body armor. Uh, yeah, that's bad to the bone.
and it'll not let a knife go through it. Let's go to Boy32. Like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. That's pretty neat. Wow. Look at that. I hear you.